Hello friends, uh, we'll be discussing theorems of parallel lines in this session. So friends, let's look at the first theorem of parallel lines and transversal. The theorem says, if a, trans a transversal intersects two parallel lines, then each of the alternate interior angles is equal. So let's first draw two parallel lines and a transversal. So we are, the theorem says that this angle, we'll take this as angle 1 and this as angle 2 and the theorem says that angle 1 is equal to angle 2. So now let's uh, prove this. Let's take this to be angle 3. Now we know that angle 2 is equal to angle 3. As per the axiom of parallel lines, which says the corresponding angles in case a transversal intersects two parallel lines are always equal. And we also know that angle 3 is equal to angle 1 as they are vertically opposite angles. So these two conditions being true and we equate these two, we get angle 2 is equal to angle one. So this is what the theorem says that the alternate interior angles when a transversal intersects two parallel lines will always be equal. Now the converse of the above theorem is also true which says that if a transversal intersects two lines such that the pair of alternate interior angles are equal then the two lines have to be parallel. So if we look at this converse theorem and we try to prove it, it says that if angle 2 is equal to angle 1, this is given. This is, if this is the case, then we also know that angle 1 is equal to angle 3 because they are vertically opposite angles. So from these two conditions, we can say that angle 2 is equal to angle So now this is, if we look at the converse of the axiom for parallel lines, it says that if the corresponding angles, in case a transversal is intersecting two, uh, two lines, if the corresponding angles are equal, then the lines are parallel. So this implies that the lines are parallel. This is the symbol for showing that the lines are parallel. So now let's look at the second theorem. The theorem says that the transversal intersects two parallel lines, then each pair of interior angles on the same side of the transversal is supplementary. So we are saying we are talking about the co-interior angles. So this each pair of interior angle on the same side of the transversal is nothing but co-interior angle. So the theorem says that if a transversal intersects two parallel lines, so we have two parallel lines here and a transversal intersecting, so, pair of co-interior angles. So, which one of these are co-interior angles? This and this. So, let's name them 1 and 2. So, we are saying that the, these two are supplementary. So, let's prove this. Now, we take this angle as 3. So, now by definition, we know that angle 1 plus angle 3 because they are the linear pair of angles they are they add up to 180 degree and we also know that angle 2 is equal to angle 3 this implies that angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to 180 degree so essentially the co-interior angles 
in case a transversal intersects two parallel lines is always they always add up to 180 degree or we can say that the co-interior angles are supplementary and now we have the converse of the above theorem which says if the transversal intersects two parallel lines two lines any two lines such that the pair of interior angles on the same side of the transversal are supplementary then the two lines are parallel so we are saying if angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to 180 degree and we already know that angle 1 plus angle 3 is equal to 180 degree because they are linear pair of angles so this implies angle 2 is equal to angle 3 so now because of the axiom the converse of the axiom which said that if a transfer if the corresponding angles when a transversal intersects two lines are equal then the two lines are parallel to each other so this implies lines are parallel so we prove the converse of the theorem also so now let's look at the third theorem of parallel lines and transversal and the theorem says lines which are parallel to the same line are parallel to each other so now supposing we have this one given line and we have this line parallel to this yellow line parallel to the green line and we also have this red line which is also parallel to the green line so we have to prove that yellow and red lines are also parallel to each other so prove to prove that we draw a transversal here and we mark these angles as 1 2 and 3 so we know that since yellow line is parallel to green line so this means angle 1 is equal to angle 2 and now since red line is also parallel to the green line this implies that angle 2 is equal to angle 3 so these two things together imply that angle 1 is equal to angle 3 and now this we apply the converse of the axiom which says that the, if the corresponding angles in case of a transversal intersecting two lines are equal then the two lines are parallel so this implies that yellow line is parallel to the red line so friends now uh, let's see what are the different checks uh, that we have to find out that the lines are parallel using the transversal so if any pair of corresponding angles are equal we'll say that the lines are parallel or if any pair of alternate interior angles are equal then also we'll say that the lines are parallel if any pair of alternate exterior angles are equal then also we'll say that the lines are parallel and if any pair of co-interior angles add up to 180 degree then also we'll say that the lines are parallel so if few lines two lines are intersected by transversal and any one of these conditions is met then we can say that the two lines the given two lines are parallel to each other friends i hope you enjoyed the session if you find it useful please like it and share it with your friends you can visit us at our cool smart learning website and post your queries there and please subscribe to the cool smart learning channel for getting updates on the new sessions thank you